Today we're going to tour some of the famous temples in Cambodia. The Tahir Temple has five sanctuary towers arranged in geometric pattern. With five sanctuary towers on five-level pyramid, Takeo looks like it was primed to be one of the greatest Angkor temples. However, something happened during the building process that halted the construction forever, and the temple is in a perpetual state of incompletion. The stone bridge. The stone bridge. It was a bridge before. The stone bridge. Stone Temple. Yeah. We do the gap uh, outside all the Angkor Tom City. Angkor Tom City had the five gate, the same style. Uh -huh. We do the gate, west gate, east gate, and south gate, north gate have two thousand five gate. This is a big naga, naga ruda. This is the victory gate at the eastern wall of Angkor Tom, in the line to the royal palace and to the elephant terrace at the royal square in front of it. It's really high. There's the face of the Buddha on top of this entrance. And the tree is growing on top of the fence. A huge tree. The Victory Gate offers the best opportunity to take picture of one of the world's famous monumental Buddhist faces framed by the trees. The Terrace of the Elephants is part of the walled city of Angkor Thom. It was used as an audience hall and for public ceremonies. The king also used the terrace as an audience hall to listen to the complaints and problems of the citizens of Angkor. Angkor Tam was abandoned sometime prior to 1609. It is believed to have sustained a population of 80,000 to 150,000 people. It was established as the capital of Jayavarma VII Empire and was the center of his massive building program. It was the last and most enduring city of the Khmer Empire. Bayon Temple is a richly decorated Khmer Buddhist temple at Angkor in Cambodia. It was built in the late 12th or early 13th century as the state temple of the Mahayana Buddhist king Jayavarman VII. The Bayon Temple stands at the center of Jayavarman's capital, Angkor Tam. The Bayon Temple was the last state temple to be built at Angkor, and the only Angkorian state temple to be built primarily to worship Brahma. Following Jayavarman's death, it was modified and augmented by the later Theravada Buddhist kings in accordance with their own religious preferences. During the reign of Jayavarman VIII in the mid-13th century, the Khmer Empire reverted to Hinduism and its state temple was altered accordingly. The Bayon's most distinctive features is the multitude of serene and smiling stone faces on the many towers which jut out from the upper terrace and the cluster around its central peak. The upper terrace is home to the famous face towers of the Bayon Temple. Originally, it is believed that the Bayon had been designed as a single level structure, similar in that respect to the roughly contemporaneous foundation at the top rung. In the first part of the 20th century, the French School of the Far East took the lead in the conservation of the temple restoring it in accordance with the technique of the ancient Greek. Since 1995, the Japanese government team for the safeguarding of Angkor has been the main conservatory body and has held annual symposia. Tafram Temple was built in the Bayon style largely in the late 12th century and early 13th century. It was originally called Raja Vihira, or Royal Monastery. The conservation and restoration of Tafram is a partnership project of the Archaeological Survey of India and the Authority of the Protection and Management of Angkor and the region of Zim Reap.
the temple is in much the same condition in which it was found. The photogenic and atmospheric combination of the trees growing out of the ruins and the jungle surroundings have made it one of Angkor's most popular temples with visitors. UNESCO inscribed Tafram on the World Heritage List in 1992. Today, it is one of the most visited complexes in Cambodia's Angkor region. As of 2013, Archaeological Survey of India has restored most parts of the temple complex, and some of which have been constructed from scratch. The roots of this tree are so big, it is so amazing to see them in person. The wooden walkways, platforms, and rope railings had been put in place around the site to protect the mountains from further damages due to large tourist inflow. After the fall of the Khmer Empire in 15th century, the temple of Tafram was abandoned and neglected for centuries. The trees growing out of the ruins are perhaps the most distinctive feature of Tafram. And the trunks of the silk cotton trees soar skyward under a shadowy green canopy. The Temple of Tapram was also used as a location in the film Tomb Raider. I want to thank Google and Wikipedia for providing all the historical information about the temples in Cambodia. I hope you enjoyed traveling the amazing temples in Cambodia through our video. If you'd like to see more of our travel video, please click the thumbs up and the subscribe button below. Until next time, I wish you all many happy trails in the future. Thank you.